<laughs> okay, I'm totally creeped out right now. I have not had a chance to look at this video yet, but the title is very intriguing and very freaky. And I'm going to make a hypothesis of where I think the common sense show Dave might be going. And I've already told you a million times that I think Dave is one of them, meaning one of the social engineers through media who pretends to be your friend, but he always has this ardent, constant Trump support. You know, you always have to have that base of people that are, are manipulating you and massaging your political position. And he peppers in churchianity that never really tells you about Jesus Christ and how to be born again. Now, the video is entitled Trump's idea to help the homeless is <laughs> very dangerous. And I love the homeless. I care very much for the homeless. My hypothesis based on this picture, and I have no idea if I'll be right or not, is that Trump is going to say that we can help the homeless people by putting them into the Halliburton camps <laughs> that have already been in existence for some time. And you can thank Dick Cheney and his company for their hands in, in crafting those. And then, uh, oh, I guess, I guess it was thir uh, 2013, 2014, they had been taking over all those Walmarts all over North America into, we'll just say 200, 250, whatever the exact count was. I don't care. And they were having plumbing problems. Don't you know? And so they were going to, they, they were going to fix those Walmarts. They were going to gut them. So much could be said about that. And then just recently, I'm going to say within the last 12 months, you had this weird thing where they were like, well, we need to take immigrants. And instead of, you know, sending them home, we're going to keep them here and we're going to put them in these facilities. So with all that groundwork being set, all my videos talking about this forthcoming setup for these seals and keep in mind, the fifth seal is people's heads being chopped off because they refuse to abandon their hope in the good shepherd for the bad shepherd. I tend to wonder if his idea is to go ahead and help those homeless people because he's a Christian, don't you know? He cares for those people, don't you know? I wonder if his idea is to put the homeless people in those facilities as um, a preparation in all reality to um, start the beta test on keeping uh, people against their will, basically. Let's find out if I'm right, because I could be totally wrong, but let's find out. And he supports Trump. I think Donald Trump can mean well a lot of times, but sometimes he gets some really bad advice, and sometimes he doesn't show the ability to filter that bad advice. And he's getting really, really bad advice on what to do with the homeless and it's dangerous for every American everyone hearing my voice is in jeopardy if this president follows through with what he said he intends to do and we need to absolutely contact him and tell him no way should you be doing this my name is Dave Hodges I'm the host of the common sense show we are the show that is freeing America one enslaved okay I had to cut out the uh, commercial for buying his stuff. But when we take a look at the horrendous decision the president said he's arriving at on what to do about the homeless situation, this is scary beyond belief. Hit the me. president said here, and here, let me pull up the document here and let me read to you what exactly Speak this in your president mic. said. And I was, I just had a moment where I just almost let out an explicative that I won't say here on the air. But I can't believe he'd even think about doing this, given the historical precedent. Okay, here it is. He says, he is vowing, we are vowing to clean up big cities. Big cities. Okay, and the housing vagrants and the associated health risks oh. by putting these people in government facilities. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. No. You already know where I'm going with this. You flip on the switch. Dave's talking about FEMA camps. No, Donald Trump is not going to put people in traditional <laughs> political prisoner camps, re-education camps we call FEMA camps. 
No, 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 no. See, he'd never do that. He'd never take people that are now considered a threat, a biological biohazard threat because of what they have allowed to have happen through orchestration, careful planning, manipulation of the system, what's happening in California, Dr. Drew that everybody loves, Dr. Pinsky on the television telling people that uh, in certain portions of California, I don't recall what city, I don't care, but anyhow, we'll just say the big city to keep it simple. You have massive infectious disease breaking out, everything from leprosy in some cases to just run the gamut of all the things that could be a biological hazard to your body and uh, then throw in the rats, throw in the fleas, throw in the, 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 the fear propagation of all that stuff that California specifically sat back and allowed to happen. They nurtured it, they created it, they petted it, they, they brought it into being. It was their entity, their tool of destruction. They did that on purpose because these people are masons. They are bleeding us dry. They are taking all of the wealth out of our dollar. And they. And a part of that is why people who are the working poor, oftentimes not not necessarily drug users not necessarily prostitutes and and and, and this label and that label of, of human error and human condition of sin blah 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 there are people who work and can't afford their housing they did that on purpose they jacked the 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 dollar up by this hyper printing and this little game that they've been playing since 2008, and we'll get back to the video in just a second here, but I want to I want to illustrate this out to you because what you're what you're being led to believe is not the case. The narrative that they wrap it in, which is what Dave is doing right now as an expert deception artist. Th this is the point. So many thoughts all at once. They've created this. They stole the wealth out of your money. They created the homeless population, not, not that it didn't exist before, but they accelerated it is a better way to say it. They caused people to not be able to pay their bills. There's a lot that could be said about that. And yes, I know there are people that use drugs. There are people that blah, 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 blah. I understand that. But this last 11 years since their little schemes to take the wealth out of the dollar and to knock people off who were barely hanging in, that's what I'm talking about. They kind of took a problem and made it 15,000 times worse. So now they're going to tell you that, okay, so Trump is going to help these people out, right? Because he's a Christian. He cares about people. He wants to make sure that the homeless are taken care of. And he wants to make sure that the public health crisis that they've allowed to have happen doesn't spread. So this is where they need to go into these facilities and they'll be lovely facilities. I mean, you can't call them FEMA. You can't call them anything like what they did to the Japanese so long ago in their prison camps. They didn't call them prison camps then either. But ask the Japanese people who were broken, who were in those camps, ask them, was it a prison camp? They'll tell you, yes. The label that they attach to a construct matters nothing. It is the goal. It is the point. It is the purpose. It is the idea deep within that matters, not the label that is wrapped around it. You are getting set up. Listen to me. Your murders are being planned. They're going to start with the homeless, but it won't end there. They're going to build on it. That's what happens. So please disregard the bull that Dave is telling you that it won't be a FEMA camp, right? They're going to name it something else, a protection facility or whatever, but no, that evil is shrewd. Evil is smart. Evil is planning your demise. And between this report and the narrative that these human beings give me and the intelligence that I see in the Bible, because I've spent a lifetime, like many of you, I've spent a lifetime reading that book. I've spent a lifetime memorizing and understanding and, 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 and meditating on the word. I have spent my entire life trying to understand the facets of that Bible and what it tells me will happen. And what it tells me is that humanity is going to be depopulated. And that matches with what the UN wants to do. It matches with the Noahide that's coming. It matches with the peace plan that is coming that I don't think is what they're telling you it is. It is this transhuman Noahide plan to change society from within and to pare it down. Much more can be said about that. 
but let's keep listening to this report where he tries to smooth it all over. See, on one hand, he goes, this is terrifying. Oh, no. And then on the other hand, over here, he plays the game and he goes, but it won't be so bad because it's not going to be a FEMA camp, right? It won't be called FEMA camp. But nonetheless, it's still going to be a prison where people can't leave because they're trying to mediate this whole, you know, problem, reaction, their solution. We have to mediate this disease. There's so many other routes that they could go. This is a setup. This is all part of the orchestrated plan to trap humanity up. And they want, they've been doing these little beta tests of disasters and then people disappear. Where did the people go? Oh, no, it was a disaster. Well, it may have been in part the disaster, but now they have a way to get that real world experience. What does it feel like to take, you know, whatever, just for example, 50,000 people, trap them up and kill them off. And if you think that sounds strange, that's fine. But read your Bible because that's what it says is going to happen. Psalm 2, the whole book of Revelation, um, even Psalm 27 is being read 80 times right now during Elul, and there are themes of protection for the church. So the, the true, actual born-again church is leaving. Everybody needs to get on the ark because this is what they have planned for you. So let's keep listening. However, this action will set the precedent for doing it. This action will bring a lot of these facilities that are sitting idle into full readiness. And let's just assume for the sake of argument that the left cheats enough to win the presidential election. You don't think that they could stop putting homeless there or maybe keep putting them there, but also make room for a few more guests with people who don't agree with them? Let me remind you of one story. The late Larry Grathwalt, a former FBI special informant, was a guest on my show frequently. He was a guest on a lot of my friends' show, like Doug Hagman. And he told the same story about a guy named Bill Ayers. Bill Ayers absolutely recruited President Obama into his early political career. He became a visitor frequently to the White House during Obama's two terms. And Bill Ayers told Larry Grathwell in response to the answer to this question, if you win, meaning this communist revolution, much like what's going on today, if you win, how do you see the country proceeding? And he said on my show that Bill Ayers hesitated for a moment, looked around, and then looked him square in the eye, and he says, well, we're probably going to have to put about 50 million Americans in re-education camps and do away with, meaning murder, over half of them. That's the man who recruited Obama. When we look at the president's solution here to the homeless problem, this is beyond scary. I'm not implying anything devious about President Trump. I think he's making an honest effort to be helpful to people in need. I absolutely do not question his motive here. But you don't think this couldn't be hijacked for a lower purpose? If you don't think so, you haven't been paying attention to what the left has been saying. That's it for the Common Sense Show. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you being with us. We are brought to you by RepairWithDave.com. Now, what's RepairWithDave.com? It's a little device that plugs into your car oh, or a car. Me. It'll tell you if your car repairman's telling you the truth about what you need. It'll tell you the truth about what it'll cost to fix it, what's wrong. And also, if you ever want to buy a used car, a new car, whatever it is, you slip this little device in and say, hey, you don't mind if I take a look at this, do you? If they do, walk away from them. If they don't, then you'll know if they're being truthful with you. Yeah. Repairwithdave.com. It's a fantastic little device. It comes with prices. And- he never, ever leaves links for anything that he's doing. You know, they're preparing for this new humanity and they got to get rid of a whole bunch of you. That's what's going on. All the old people are going to have to be outmoded. This is pan-communism 2.0 is what people don't seem to understand. And by having Trump in and labeling him and going, he's a Republican. He's a Christian. He's a caring human being. Really? Come on now. It's, it's, it, it's the ninth command. This is not hard to figure out when you start looking at his fruit, when you start seeing all the times that he has thrown Christianity under the bus by signing on to Noahide, knowing what that means. Come on. The Noahide sub laws talk about 
murdering those that are idolaters. So much could be said about that. And I already have. I have tons of videos. Go check them out. They all paint a picture of what's going on. The Bible said in Hebrews 10.25, listen to me now. This is really important, that we are to comfort one another as we see the day approaching. And, they, and in the Greek, they cap the day, which means we're talking about that specific day. We're talking about the Feast of Trumpets. I don't know if it will be this year. It could be next year. I don't know. It is possible. It is very, very possible it could be this year. And that is what I'm watching for because that's what the Bible says. Be ready by being born again and be watching for your inheritance because they are now planning your incarceration. It won't save the homeless. It'll be everybody except them. 